Hello, everybody. It's good to see you once again. And we have a very, very interesting topic. You're adjusting the pipeline in the max mean system and assessing stock titles, practice questions. Very, very interesting. And it's a member of the Supply Chain Management Series. I remain Dr. Ia Zebasi. Please, if you have not liked, commented, or subscribed, please do so and keep this resource going. So let's go. Question number one, what is the objective of adjusting the distribution system policies? Usually where you adjust them is because you want to reduce the number of supply chain levels, you want to reduce the pipeline. So you could adjust the uh, distribution system policies. Question number two, what does assessing stock status help to determine? You want to be able to determine the number of stock available, not just the stock you have, but how long can it take you? Question number three, how can the length of the pipeline be reduced? You could do that by eliminating one or more levels from the distribution system. You could also reduce the max, uh, the maximum stock, all right? The maximum stock, we'll get to that. Question number four, uh, what is the way, one way to reduce the maximum stock level, which is a way of reducing the pipeline? You can reduce the lead time. Question number five, what factors in Packed the max mean stock level, cost of products, yes, reliability of transportation, yes, storage capacity, yes, shelf life of health policies, yes, so I'm answer it all of the above. Good. Question number six, which factor does not, this is a negative question, impact max mean stock levels and employee satisfaction will be the answer. Question number seven, which max mean version is best for a community health worker distributing condoms and orals. That will be the continuous review system, the two bean uh, system where you keep two beans. Once one bean is finished, you now, it's like, uh, you, that is like it has reached a mean. So you now replace it with another bean while the one that was standing there is now used. All right, question number eight, what is a physical count in supply chain management? That's the process of counting by hand. You have to be there physically and count by hand the total number of visible Units. Question number nine: What is a phys Why is it important to do a physical count? Because you actually want to compare actual usable stock with your recorded stock to avoid stories that touch the heart. Because sometimes you find out that what you actually have actually is not what is recorded in the stock. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen in your own situation. Question number ten: What is the purpose of addressing stock status? Why do we do that? It's because we want to determine how long this supply is left. Not just how much is there, but how far can it carry us? And it's, I think, recorded in the amounts of stocks. All right. Question number 11, what formula is used to calculate how long your stock will last? This is usually your stock on hand over your average monthly consumption. So if you have a thousand, um, let's say, kids, and your average monthly consumption is um, 250, so you know that you have four months of stock remaining. Okay, 12, what is the definition of stock on hand? This will be your total stock available at any given time. What is the importance of calculating months of stock on hand? That's because you want to determine how more, how long will it take you? All right, question number 14. How often should stock status be assessed? You should actually do it once a year, but if you know it's a new program, you do it more frequently, or you've had issues of your data not tallying, then you should be able to do it much more frequently. Question number 15, which element can be changed to reduce the maximum stock level? You can shorten the review period. What impact does reducing lead time have on the max mean system? Why, if you reduce lead time, most likely you're going to reduce safety stock levels. The review stock levels will also reduce. The maximum will also reduce. Minimum also reduce, you know? So one thing leads to another. Question number 17, what is the impact of eliminating levels from the distribution system? Be able to decrease the pipeline length. Question number 18, which factor does not impact max mean stock levels? You have employee performance. Question number 19, what's the benefit of avoiding overstocking in max mean systems? First of all, you'll be able to reduce costs and then you will minimize waste, which is a key thing for a good uh, supply chain manager. You don't want 
your uh, facility to be recording waste, taxpayers' money. Question number 20, why is it important to avoid understocking? You actually also do not want to have stock out and you want to ensure that you have continual supply of um, products and maximize the impact of your uh, facility or your program. So question number 21, who is responsible for the overall management of ARV and OI drugs at the service delivery points? This will be the ART focal pharmacist uh, who coordinates uh, with the distribution agents for the delivery of all HIV AIDS commodities that will be the PSM technical working group. This is actually for the um, HIV AIDS um, uh, program in Nigeria. All right, it could be different somewhere else, but this is what we have in Nigeria. Question number 23, who supervises the management of ARB and OI drugs in the central warehouse? That would be the warehouse manager um, who ensures the proper storage of HIV kits and lab supplies according to specified storage standards. That would be the storekeeper uh, who is responsible for ensuring the quality of HIV kits and lab supplies that will be the quality assurance officer um, who monitors the HIV kits and lab supplies at the facility level. That will be the medical laboratory for person uh, 27 who completes the issue and receipt form for lab supplies. That will be the storekeeper 28 who supervises the daily usage of HIV test kits at the facility. That will be the focal medical laboratory scientist. 29, who submits stock status report to the Central Logistics Technical Working Group. That will be the medical laboratory focal uh, person, especially when it concerns lab uh, products. Uh, 30, who ensures proper inventory control at the Central Medical Stores. That will be the stores pharmacies. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, forget to like, and don't forget to comment. Thanks and Bye-bye. God bless you.